Welcome back, everybody, to Discourse. Where we left off, we got through the first night unscathed, I guess. Learning a little bit more about all of our companions here. Teddy suspected Garrett of implanting a government chip inside of all of our heads. Which I thought was probably pretty accurate. Need to make our first big decision, I suppose, of the adventure here and now. We either need to make some sort of signal, explore the crash site, or find some fresh water. And I'm of the opinion that water is more than likely going to be the top priority for us now. So let's do it. If we don't find water that we can drink, we won't last very long. But why don't you see if there's a lake or something? On a desert island? And boys gotta be drinking something. Why don't you take Gary with you, Rita? He seems like he could use an adventure. What? All right, you ready to go, Garrett? Oh, Garrett's a little shy. I, I guess. I'll come with you as well. I'm no stranger to dealing with animals. All right, sounds good to me. We're never going to get off this island. This is ridiculous. I'll just stay back and watch the camp then. Oh, Teddy. Man, I don't trust leaving Teddy behind with his busted up legs by himself to guard our stuff. You know, it's too bad that my trusted fishing pole here got broken in the plane crash. We actually found a pond or something we could have gone fishing in. The only thing of mine that survived the crash was my game brick. That's a terrible name. <laughs> the game brick. When you want to throw your blunt objects at your friends and play games on them later. I clung on to Bricky with my life. I don't know what I would do without her. That door there's your life? What? How dare you? Does he have a huge ponytail? I just realized that. It's amazing. It's okay, Bricky. Scary mustache man didn't mean it. Alright, guys, let's focus. We're here to find water. It's hopeless. There's no water out here. Let's not give up just yet. There's gotta be some trace of water around here. Let's split it up in search of the vicinity. Okay then. Looks like they're leaving me to uh, head through the archway. Kinda wanted to go check some other things out here too. You could fry an egg on this. Man, sunny side up would hit the spot right now. If we're gonna find anything, I'd imagine eggs may not be the most rare occurrence on a strange island. Uh, it's not much cooler in the shade. I'm roasting out here. That scarf, no, that scarf probably isn't helping. He's got a point. I wish I knew more about cacti. Maybe we could use this for something. You know what? I, the player, do know a little bit more about cacti. If we can find some sort of mechanism by which to extract the water from the cacti, maybe, yeah? What's this thing? That would appear to be dried oak pool. Water probably falls into it when it rains. So there was definitely water here. Sure, but that won't help us much. It's dry as a bone now. Hmm. What else can we find? Just another crack in the dusty ground. Looks completely dry. Wonder if our buddy over here has found anything. Nothing yet? Try another cactus, maybe. Ah, oh, what are these? Those are animal tracks. They look pretty fresh, too. Animals need to drink, too. I bet if we follow these, we'll find water. That is logical as hell, Garrett. Although I do want to look around a little more. We'll follow them in just a second. I want to look around here for a minute. Let me know when you're ready to leave. Hmm. It looks like what we're intended to find around here. But the cacti... They gotta provide something, right? There's gotta be a way to interact with those, although maybe... I've run the course of this particular area. Just one more quick glance around. I think that'll about do it. Yeah. I like the, uh... The 2.5D elements here. Working quite well. Alright, let's do it. Ready to go? Yep, let's go. Let's head out. Alright, we're off. Come on, Garrett. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I can't not imagine him making that sound when he waddles around. There's water! Wait, I think I just saw something moving there. I doubt it was anything. Garrett, why don't you get down there and scoop up some of that tasty, tasty water? 
but I... Now's your chance to prove yourself to the team. Garrett or George? Hmm. Oh, poor Garrett. Look at his face. George always seems so confident about himself, and I want Rita to be able to be, or, you know, capable of handling the brunt of the workload, too. But let's go with George on this one. Garrett, why don't you go gather up some water? I don't think I should go in the water. Not feeling too good after that war attack. Hmm. I have faith in him. This will boost his confidence. Come on, Garrett, you can handle this. Well, if you really insist. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm worried now. Did the pattern on his shirt just change? Okay, I've got three bottles full here. Why are you guys looking at me like that? You're covered- Oh, yeah, it did. Oh, my God. Okay, don't freak out. Just stay calm and don't freak out. That's what people say when you really should freak out. It's true. Oh, Richard! Oh! Yikes, that looked like it really hurt. Is he out cold? I'll take a look. That's a big old lump. Ooh. Oh, crater. <laughs> oh, good. This is what we need right now, a dead Garrett. Garrett, how many fingers am I holding up? Oh, I'm a ghost! <laughs> You're not dead, Garrett. I never said I was dead. I said I'm a ghost! Uh, sure. Whatever you say. He's talking pretty strange, even than stranger than normal, you know what I'm saying. I got a big old mustache. He must have hit his head pretty hard there. Yeah, this might be bad. Well, we've got the water. We should get back to camp. Let's get moving. Come on, Gary. Oh, poor guy. Leeches in the pond. I don't know why he thought he had to go, like, wade in the middle of the whole thing. He just stood by the shoreline and got some good stuff. I bet it would suck to swim in there. <laughs> I can appreciate it, Rita. Oh, you know I can. More plane debris all the way out here. It's crazy how far it spread. Yeah, wait, doesn't this piece look strange? What do you mean? It's, uh... This is duct tape. What? This is really suspicious. I'm starting to wonder what kind of shape our plane was in. If we ever get out of here alive, I'm gonna want some answers from the airline. I certainly would, too. This straight-up just duct tape covering up a massive hole. If there's a hole in the hole... That makes sense, right? If there's a hole in the airplane's exterior, I don't think that's, like, worthy of being in the air. Yeah. Look out, it's a sand wizard! Oh, man, I like this perspective on it. I feel like I could play into his fantasy world, but maybe he's being a little bit more stubborn these days. I just want to make sure you're okay. Nice for you to check in, Elvis. So far. <laughs> Still digging your music, by the way. Okay, he might... He's goofing on us, or he's really messed up now. Kind of reminds me of a piece I made in my Surrealist Nature Visualization Through Sculpture class. I got a C on it because my professor didn't get it. What a barista thing to say. No offense to you baristas out there. I really wish I could take the time to appreciate this island a little more. It's a little difficult when we have to worry about things like getting water. Perspective changes, doesn't it? So, ready to leave? Yeah, let's go. I'm ready. We should be getting back. Come on, Garrett, we need to get moving. Is it our legs that move or the earth around us? Oh, God, did you take a hit when you were over there? Gee, he really seems out of it. Hopefully, we'll be able to get back to camp without him passing out. I don't think I could carry him. I could, but I certainly won't want to. Anyway, let's go. George boasting about them big old arms now. What's wrong, Garrett? Sorry, that one the warlock gave me is slowing me down. What are you babbling about now, boy? Oh no, you two can't see him? It must be an illusionary shroud. Garrett, you're insane. Garrett's clearly tired. Let's just take a quick breather. As long as it's quick, it'll be dark soon. 
That water back there sure reminded me of the smell of the pond back on our farm. It's wild, the things we took for granted. Do you enjoy farming? Well, to be honest with you, it was just sort of the family business. I didn't really have much of a plan as a kid. Just kind of figured it would work out. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Hoping for a little luck. Aren't we all, Rita? I don't really believe in luck. Seems to favor those who work hard. I wouldn't really call that luck. Exactly. <laughs> what is going on? I was scaring the warlocks away. Alright, I think it's time we gotta move on. Come on, Garrett, let's get back to camp. That was a nice little insight into the perspective of our two friends. I like it. We've got the water. We did? <laughs> Yes, Garrett, you hit your head, but we're back at camp now. I remember beasts that feed off of the lifeblood of their victims. So that's pretty accurate. I was covered by swarms of them. Couple of leeches, huh? Well, uh, doesn't matter. Garrett did his part. Anyway, here. Everybody should take a drink. Wonder how they fared in their expedition today. Oh, we're all being so thoughtful now. I saw you didn't bring anything back, Steve. Actually, I think we found something, but I need some help getting to it. A lot of that wreckage is too heavy for me to lift. Well, maybe we can look into it tomorrow. I'm telling you guys, we need to try to make contact with the outside world! Maybe, Teddy, but there is a lot of stuff we have to do if we want to stay alive. Like alchemy! We should all run alchemy! Ha ha ha! He's really out of it, isn't he? Yeah, hopefully this goes away soon. Maybe a good night's rest will help him. I'll grab a torch. Should find our way over to the tent. They completed an entire cycle of a day, I suppose. To the tent we go. The makeshift, beautiful shelter. So, we talked to uh, the... Actually, it's kind of interstitial the way we did it, so I suppose if we talk to... I keep forgetting their names. Steve, today. It'll work out. Sure it would be good if we could get this stuff out from under that wreckage. Maybe George can do it. He worked on a farm. Yeah, maybe. Well, I'm gonna go sleep it off. Didn't have much to offer. I'm really liking what Garrett's telling me lately. Rita! My best friend in all the world! You're the finest lumberjack I've ever had the pleasure to meet. <laughs> I hope you know that. Like, really know that. That you're a lumberjack. Ugh, this nonsense talk is getting old quickly. I don't know, I'm still enjoying it. Garrett, you really need to get some sleep. Will you tell me a bedtime story? You tell the best story. I'm not gonna do that, Garrett. Please just go to sleep. <laughs> you said sleep. <laughs> Oh, good. Uh, Teddy? Jolene. Let's talk to Jolene again. We still got a lot of work to do. Yeah, it seems like the work is never gonna end. George always says the work is the best thing for you. I think that may he be the only one to think... I think that may be the only thing we disagree on. Well, maybe there's just more than just one. From what I understand, no marriage is without a little disagreement. But I guess I shouldn't act as the authority on that. You'll see one day, marriage can be a complicated thing. Hmm. Ooh, you have an interesting choice here. That's saying I get married. Let's leave it a little bit, uh, conspicuous here. Yeah, maybe. You're a strong woman, Rita. You ought to have everyone swooning over you. Ha, <laughs> maybe. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night, Rita. Torch is too low. Time for me to go to sleep. That was an interesting perspective there. Man, what a day. Might as well try and get some shut-eye. Eventually, I'm gonna get used to this whole sleeping on the sand deal. Day three. One more night down. I'm gonna need to stretch my legs and move around. You're right. Oh, that's Garrett. 
You're right. Sure would be nice to take a walk. I'm starting to get pretty hungry. We're going to go days without food. Just stay strong. Can we focus here? We have to figure out what we're doing today. Well, yesterday we were able to collect some water, so that would help a lot. And I was able to kill that ghost. <laughs> ghost, you know. Garrett's still talking funny. I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it. There's nothing funny about the truth, man. The real truth. Oh god, him and Teddy are gonna get start to get in the same ballpark now. Garrett's head injury is so annoying, I feel like it's injuring my head. Steve, what's your plan today? Jolene and I would like an extra helper to check out the plane wreckage. There might be some useful supplies in there. No, no! We need to find a way to signal the outside world! Okay, so we're down to these two now. And in the spirit of keeping to, you know, a regular pattern here, I think we're gonna call it off for day two. We'll be excited to play of day three, though, next time here in Discourse. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you did. I'll see you then.